the better part of me Watching you, watching me, watching you, watching me you guys, welcome back to number six with Cheese. Today, a guest episode. Very excited to have Jackson Delisle on the show, a podcasting guru, a writer, a performer, a comedian. He's done the Second City Improv program. The guy does it all. And today, we're getting him in the back seat for El Habanero for maybe some Pombazo sandwiches. We'll see what he wants. Very pumped Jackson's here. Yeah, don't forget we got a Patreon early access this week to our newest shirts. Go snag them while you can, patreon.com forward slash number six with cheese. All right, let's go pick up this fool. Yeah. What up? There he is. We just dodged all these cars. Dude, I like you just like standing on the side of the road. Like just yeah, right I, I don't live over here. I was just hitchhiking. <laughs> I just looked at the address and sent it to you. Here's your shirt. Oh, dude, thank you. What's up, dude? Good, how are you? Doing well. All right, Jackson, how's the back seat? It's treatment? great. It's very yeah, roomy. Really spacious. Super <laughs> it's spacious. Really, really nice. Thanks for doing the show. Yeah, of course. So Jackson does the Untied podcast, which I've been a guest on, which is super fun. One of the most amazing kind of studio build outs I've seen in Chicago of people just like putting up a studio, having guests in, it was like gorgeous. So welcome to our studio, uh, which is a little different feel, but uh, just as rewarding, I hope. Yeah, no, definitely. So we're going to El Habanero. I picked it because I heard about it from Sean and uh, I needed to eat the pombazo after I saw it. And I actually looked up facts about pombazos before I got in the car today. <laughs> You're the pombazo I was, guy? Well, I was like, I only, I think I can only remember two of them. But <laughs> <laughs> He's not off book on all of them, but he'll get there. <laughs> What's one pombazo fact? They go back all the way to colonial times. Oh, so damn. So they, the word actually comes from like pombazo, like separate words. <laughs> Did word. you say the word? No, yeah, but it's, it's <laughs> El Nino words. is Spanish for <laughs> El Nino. <laughs> no, it's two separate words, um, but it means lower quality bread. Oh, okay. It wasn't <laughs> so you're getting some cheap served. breads. So it wasn't fit to be served to like uh, higher officers and people like that. So they uh, would make it for, you know, like, Peasants. Peasants, pretty much. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's perfect for number six with cheese. The chili soaked bread thing is absolutely wild. It looks insane. So I'm actually doing a different thing than I've had there before. And then Corey's getting a torta. So three different things. So really like spinning the gambit on uh, El Habanero together. So uh, let's get there. So exciting. Here we go. All right, YouTube, all right, boys. We got three different things from El Habanero in that have a nice day smiley bag acquired jump cut. Hey, how you doing, hey what's up, brother? Hey, Sorry, I got no. Oh, you know what? I do have some change, bro. You know what, bro? You gotta get about. You can get about eight dollars here. Let's see. This is, these are some bucks too. These are those Sacagaweas or whatever. One, two, three. That's a quarter. Four, five, six, seven, twenty-five. My guy. Oh, thank you. Yeah, no problem, brother. Thank you, buddy. You have yourself a good one, man. Damn, struck gold, dude. You just got Sacagaweas. I've been here? sitting with those in my car for so long. <laughs> that was perfect, dude. Car, it's made his day, man. What's up, buddy? Excuse me. Where, where, where you get that Dorito from? But, oh no, this ain't no dream. This is a taco thing. This this bad boy? You heard of El Habanero? Just a little down the way? Down this way? Yeah, dude. They're like, oh, what what is that? A burrito? Yeah, it's a steak burrito. Oh, steak I, burrito. Oh, oh, they're supposed to be fire, dude. They're supposed to be hella good. Yeah, oh, yeah. I, I had one of those before a long time ago. <laughs> the, I, I had one of those. They good. They're good? Hell yeah, we're excited to try it. Take it easy, buddy. All right, three different things. Like I said, this is Corey's Corey Wagner second angle. All right, let's see. What we got here this. What is this called? A tostada? To torta. Torta. Okay. We got a torta. It's some sort of breaded sandwich. Open it up. We got lettuce. There's little diced tomatoes. Flavored pork. And this is Jackson's. This is the Jackson second angle right here. So I actually had to already dip into the napkins just from unwrapping it. <laughs> uh, but it's the pombazo. It is uh, chili soaked, and there is lettuce, sour cream steak, cheese, it looks like, and I think that's all. Yeah, you're gonna have red fingers for a month and a half, well, but it's worth do. it. It's like, yeah, I already do. <laughs> and then yeah, uh, this time I'm doing the uh, steak burrito, so burrito's my favorite food on the planet. Uh, this restaurant's amazing, so I gotta imagine that the burrito's gonna be pretty epic, so 
Here we go. Someone already took a bite because he couldn't. Oh, he couldn't resist. I'm so sorry. <laughs> we didn't. We didn't know how to explain right, the rules. It's all right. There's no rules. I just wanted to <laughs> dog on there. there. Hey man, I know I didn't explain it, but what the yeah. hell? <laughs> all right. This well, this is uh, more of a punk show. <laughs> yeah, this is a sub prank and, show. Yeah. Mm -hmm. By the way, there's a bunch of rules we haven't told you, and we are going to thrash you about them all show. <laughs> just as I break. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's all right. All right. Uh, El Habanero. Cheers. 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 Oh, also see it and take his sunglass Cheers. off. Another rule of ours. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, he's still wearing a shirt in the back seat. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did shave my entire body for this. Oh, good. Oh, that's good. Good. Holy sh bro. Oh my god. This past door. Oh my really flavorful. Oh my god. Mm. This place, I'm just so glad that it wasn't like a one and done. When I had that, I was like, it has to be amazing. That bite, steak's not supposed to be this moist and like tender for a burrito. It's insane. This is insane. <laughs> this is my voiceover. I'm a, I'm usually a huge burrito guy. This is probably the greatest item I've ever had. Really? You really do like it? Mm -hmm. Dude, it's uh, unreal. So it's dipped in juices? Yeah, like uh, <laughs> chili oil. Chili oil. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's insane to me. But it's not like soggy. No. Oh, it's like defying physics. Yeah. So that's like the Italian beef of the Mexican world? But here's the thing, an Italian beef gets soggy. Yeah, oh yeah. This, yeah. this is still holding up. Wow. I uh -huh. mean, don't get me wrong, it's a little floppy. Sure, of course. Well, but it's not the Italian beef sog that we're right. used to. Yeah, that's Sog City. The um, Tom Bazo you know, like mush into a ball. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's off-putting. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I've not seen that sandwich on very many menus. Either that, or I didn't know what it was. So my like mind and eyes just brush right past it. Mm -hmm. Now every time I go to a Puerto Rican or Cuban Mexican spot of any kind, I look to see if they have pambazos on the menu. I've never even heard of them. I had neither up until literally like three months ago. And it's it's kind of like one of those things where like. You have never seen a car before, and then you see the car commercial. Yeah, yeah. You see it everywhere. Frequency mm -hmm. illusion. Yeah, yeah. So Absolutely. I hope I start seeing these on every menu. Honestly, Me if too. I saw Pombazo on a menu, I would assume that it's a type of pepper. <laughs> yeah, so it does sound like it. Honestly, I also got a. Uh, uh, is it Haritos or Jaritos? Uh, I got the lime. No H. Yaritos. Yaritos. Or no Jama. Right. Do you believe in magic in a young girl's heart? Oh my god, dude! I have one of these every like six months, and it, it's like the first time I've had it. Every time I have it, that's, that's how I okay. feel about Sprite. <laughs> yeah, seriously, I well, love I feel Sprite. Like these have mastered the like spiciness of the oh. like McDonald's Sprite. Yeah, like the I totally agree. There's some carbonation balance that's happening there, and I don't know how. Why'd doing. you take my spot when I used that? I didn't even know that was yours. <laughs> Gets <laughs> it up for a second. He goes, there it is. There it is, boys. All right, so let's get into this. Uh, this dude, a little bit. Get into this dude. That's not really sexual. Uh, anyway. oh, we can do that. <laughs> so yeah, he did shave. Whatever. Yeah, he didn't, didn't shave his body hair. Oh, for right, nothing, right. The guy, you, know? you did get that rule done. All right, but I kind of talked about it in the intro. Jackson's kind of like a, a master of all, a jack of all trades. Uh, writer, comedian, podcaster. Started your own kind of like content house, entertainment network, if you will. Um, like content house. Content house is a great. That's term. a cool term. Yeah. Did that, you make that up? That's the new Netflix show. Content House? No, it's not. Oh, God, I was like, did I accidentally steal that? 100%. It could be like Big Brother, but with just content people. Yeah. I know you did Second City Improv and stuff like that, but what's kind of the, the pathway right now? I know you're like, you're going heavy on podcasting, yeah. which you're fantastic at, but like, talk a little bit about like what you're working on now and where you see the value in that stuff, et cetera, et cetera. Right now, we're kind of just focusing on bringing it back to our original podcast that we started. Mm -hmm. This is Untied. So we basically try to interview different creators and uh, people from different walks of life that have an interesting story that we want to or you know we see someone's video we hit them up and we're like you know we need to get you on the show mm -hmm. uh, and I'm gonna be honest like we've interviewed people from business to mm -hmm. comedy and the people that always have a comedy background are always much more entertaining to talk to <laughs> yeah. only yeah, because it's like playing with someone who has similar interests and same mind mm -hmm. so it's like it's, there's a lot more volley yep yep Whereas like business is like next question to yeah 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 yeah, oh, yeah. Right. this is mm -hmm. an interview but yeah they're treating it like an old school interview and not like a conversation right but, absolutely yeah. yeah that's funny what did you think of the Second City Improv program you had to like kind of stop it because of COVID right is that well, right I, I graduated the A through E okay and then right after that we were doing shows that's what it was after okay. that we it like COVID hit so the all improv you guys were doing sketch or just strictly on the improv we were just on improv I, I did um, a couple sketches sketch classes, like uh, writing classes yep. at I.O. I always heard like if you want to do improv, 
go to Improv Olympic. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. If you want to do uh, like sketch and writing, go to Second City. Yeah. So I just took that advice and threw it out the window and I flip flopped it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Whatever, don't tell me what to do. I'll do it my own yeah. way. <laughs> I was like, that can't be right. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. I'm getting a weird vibe. <laughs> but what, I, what actually, the reason I did it was because I didn't want to start um, improv right away because I had taken like two years off um, while well, I went to college and was like, mm -hmm. maybe this is what I'm going to do. And then I got a year into college and was like, this is not what I wanted to do. Yeah. So then I went back to Second City, or I went and they were like, well, you're 18, so you're gonna be put in the children's classes still. <laughs> and I was children's like, improv. I was like, okay, cool. And then I, I went to IO, and they're like, you're 18, you're an adult, get in the adult class. But then I was like the youngest person in the writing class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was like me and a bunch of 30 year olds. Yeah. And we were like, uh, <laughs> so like people twice my age at that point. Sure. That I was like, okay, we're in an SNL writing class, and it was just like everyone would like have all these like this great word choice, and then you could tell I was 18 in my writing. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. I was just like fart. Uh, yeah, yeah, seriously. That's hilarious. <laughs> but I will say, starting that young is impressive. It's terrifying to get into that stuff, and you know there's gonna be like people in their 30s and 40s doing that stuff, and you're like a teenager. I just, I, I like. I think that's really cool. I got a funny story about being put in the wrong class. We were in A through E, and my class didn't have enough people to go to the next level, you know? Yeah. And so they just were like, well, we'll just mush him up with another class that doesn't have enough people to go to the next level. And then we had this really psyched, and it's like, great guy, so high energy. And he's sitting there, we're doing these things, telling us to do these scenes, and he's like, yelling in this, pe these people are like kind of uncomfortable that joined our class. And they were acting real awkward, and he's like, Ski, you're on a mountain, ski! And he's yelling in this lady's face, and she takes off running. And then this girl's like, um, maybe no one, maybe no one said anything to you, but we're a class for people with high anxiety. And they just put, <laughs> and they didn't tell the teacher, and they oh put all God. us other psychos in this class with people for high anxiety, and just uh, watch them. Off running. Ah, oh my God. Ski, ski! <laughs> Jesus. Ah, just ran away and she never came back to oh, class. Of course not. She's probably awesome. still in a psychiatric hospital. Yeah, and that guy felt so the teacher felt so bad. They didn't tell him. No, they didn't tell him. Not. They just assumed he's doing like regular right. that, simple oh my minded God. us regular folk. And they do absolutely still do those classes for people with anxiety, so that's yeah. rough. Yeah. Oh nice. man. Well, oh shit, sorry. Did it spill on you? Yeah, no, not well. A little bit. I'm sorry. But these are my these are my clubbing shoes. <laughs> oh, great. You think GoPros though would be really good at high heater, low temperature? Yeah. Like you can put it into like 500 you can put it in the, of water. You can put it in the devil. Oh, yeah. It gets a little warm. I know. Yeah. I say it's like dogs that. and babies can't keep it in the car without the windows rolled down. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I think your Teslas have dog mode. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah. Like, dude, that's a problem for dogs. My mom used to leave me in the car when she go grocery shopping, bro. <laughs> My mom would too. She would just be like, I cracked the window, you know what I mean? Yeah, you'll be fine. I, mean, uncle, I wasn't like a baby. Now we'll call like, the authorities. My like, uncle one time uh, found me in a parking lot. He just happened to be at the grocery store. My mom was in the grocery shop or whatever she was doing. At probably at Target actually. And she got me to like, hey, unlock the door. And got me, got out, and then went and hid with me. And my mom freaked out. Oh, Where's my baby? Yeah. Where's my baby? That is such a mean prank. And my uncle was like, don't leave your kid in the car ever anymore, Terry, you idiot. That's incredible. Like, I was in there for two seconds. It doesn't matter. Mom of the 80s, you know? That's, That's incredible. <laughs> Gnarly uncle. Joe, dude. He made her Little literally Joe. almost He was like, die. let me really mess with dude, it. Dude, he, yeah, oh he was not, dude. He used to pay, he was always, the uncle would always pay us to do weird, like, pranks and shit. You know, like, touch his dick or whatever. <laughs> no. <laughs> No, no. <laughs> he, he, he paid my cousin one time like five bucks to go hit his mom's, my aunt, her new refrigerator with a hammer, dude. <laughs> put a big ass uh, stainless steel, put a big dent oh in it. Oh my god. She was so pissed. Of course. And I'd be Joe so mad. Dying, like, Whoa, it's not even a prank. <laughs> it's not even a prank. <laughs> so funny, dude. Uncle Joe is wild. Yeah, man. yeah he's an asshole. That's why he was an asshole. <laughs> Jesus, you're right. That technically would not classify as a. <laughs> that's not a prank. That's a, that might be a that's a crime. That's a hired gun. Is what that's, that's, yeah, that's he's, a like, he's just like you just uh, imagine him sitting there with a beer, going, "Hey, come here, here kid. I get get some hammer. I have an idea. Hey, take this hammer. See that new fridge? <laughs> so that's funny. really funny. Yeah, I like, just bought it too. <laughs> so pissed. <laughs>
My lord. <laughs> oh, that is great. <laughs> I want to be that uncle. <laughs> I don't know. You know. Here's five bucks. Really go make a mess of that thing. Yeah, just go <laughs> shut your mom's house. <laughs> Do I want to keep this? Because they save way better when they're all like together. Once you start mm, eating more of it, it's, it's yeah, yeah, just yeah. I don't know what it is. It needs to be like a at least a half unit. At least those fried burritos salvage better than uh, just your regular standard like, like a tortilla wrap or whatever. Yeah, 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 where they don't grill it. This yeah, is the once way it's to do grilled it. Grilled up. I don't understand. Would you consider it fried or grilled? It's called grilled, right? It's well, grilled, grilled, but like there's but it's of course on a stove top which has oil on, which it. is more of a frying. I already got. Yeah, I need to start a so petition. It's, right, it's, it's kind of. Fry a burrito isn't it a chimichanga? Is that deep, deep fry? fry? Oh, deep fry. Yeah. Okay. So this is just pan fried. It's it's yeah. It's like those it's flat top flat, grills. It's like flat. Which top I guess grill. it is a flat top grill. Grill. Okay, we figured it out. So I guess okay. it so is. I think either one works. Maybe that should be what people comment today. Don't go listen to Jackson's podcast. Comment below. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't listen to that. Yeah, don't listen to that garbage. Wait, so if they comment, they can't listen to No, podcast. you one or the other. People have a lot to yeah. do today, Make okay? Make that choice. The only thing I need from you this week is to let me know, is it called fried or is it grilled? But a burrito... Can... Well, that's a bad question, though, because I know. we know the answer. They're going to say grilled because that's what the, the that's the term. I'm, I want a petition to change the name. Yeah. I don't want to know what the answer... I know what the answer is. It's called a grilled burrito. I want a petition would you to sign, change All it. I want to know is would you sign the yeah, petition? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Just well, comment yes or no. Yes, yeah, so that's all I need to know. That's really what it is. Uh, out of five. Uh, uh, here, uh, uh, peppers. Yeah. yeah, that'd be easy, right? <laughs> Just keep it simp. Keep it simp. Keep it that's simp. That's a word I haven't oh. heard. Uh oh. Which is that weird. Means something different. Yeah, I was gonna say simping is like a different term. It is. Too, you know? So I don't want it to be. What that. is it? Is that when you're like a dude who like really wants to and like goes and like that? Basically, like in the friend zone. You friend. Kinda? You like basically friend the girl for years just for the off chance maybe one night she'll go. Yeah. Fine. Go around like you just tire wear shoes her down. A yeah, bench. it's a yeah. wear down, which never well, actually happens. Or you I, could call it laying the foundation, whatever you. Yeah, that's yeah. a more respectful way to look at it. Respectable <laughs> way, but it never works. You just yeah, that never works. It did in just friends. <laughs> it did. Wait, the you mean Reynolds the guy got way more attractive? Well, that also. Well, yeah, they didn't say there was details. You mean he became Ryan Reynolds? I don't think Reynolds? it was his simping that got it. I bet if he still looked like that fat piece of shit. Right, shoes. but I'm not wrong. He did friend zone. Out of five, uh, fat suit Ryan Reynolds. You see, we got there. This is what it was all for. <laughs> mm -hmm. How many fat suit Ryan Reynolds do you give the pambazo, the torta, and then the burrito from El Habanero Corio first? Mine was delicious. I really like the bread that they use for those. It's like kind of like similar to Cuban sandwiches. I feel like a nice thin, yeah. crispy bread. Bread that I is it's like well, those are my favorite vehicles for sandwiches. They don't get in the way. It's yeah. not too bready. They just totally hit the spot. I love people who ride their electric like wheelchairs in the street for some reason. <laughs> you really like that? I, I love it. <laughs> the I've confidence. seen them going through the drive-through before. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Kills me. Oh, in the basket. So yeah, I love the bread. The meat was flavored super well. It was like really, really, really tasty meat. How much did you say mine was? I think yours was 13 bucks, I want to say. 13 bucks was totally fair. It was huge. I only had one half of it, and granted, I've done a couple food reviews before this, but like still, that was like a big meaty, like filled up sandwich. I think it was appropriate for the price. Maybe a little on the high end, but it was really good, really good meat, good bread. Um, all in all, I think it's a great thing. I'm gonna give it, uh, not the best I've ever had, but really good four. I think it's fantastic. All right, Jackson, the, your first pambazo, what's your score? Well, the bread, again, amazing. The fact that it wasn't soggy and it's soaked, like, you, like my fingers are still slightly stained. Yeah. I think they're going to be Oh, that's not too bad, though. Yeah, no, it's not bad. I thought it was I, gonna be I, way I, worse, to be honest. I think mm. I washed it with the soda when we spilled it. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're welcome. It's all planned. There is yeah. a little bit of an orange tint still. No, um, but we, I would say the steak was great, juicy, very flavorful. Lettuce wasn't like soggy from all the juice. Big, big. That's a big detail. It like for had me. a good crunch to uh -huh. it, and then the inside is like still toasted. There's a lot of things that go into this, and I would have to. I think I'm gonna give it like. Do you guys do half ratings? Yeah, whatever. Anything. anything I've done four point one two before. Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, like I'll give it a four point eight nine. Whoa. Ryan, Ryan Reynolds. Oh, I thought, you were gonna, I thought you were gonna keep going into like the the yeah, like hundred, like the tenth, the hundredth, the thousand. Four point eight nine one six. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Start naming off pie. <laughs> Burrito was incredible. That place, I, I'm pretty sure, just has a grasp on how to make food. Like every, from top to bottom, I feel like they just crush it. Uh, one of the most flavorful, kind of simple steak burritos I've had. It wasn't packed full of like a million different things. It just the steak was super tender. There was a good like moist like texture to it. Like it was like it stayed together on the outside crispy, but 
also on the inside was like tender and like it wasn't I don't know I just love that about those dude I'm going four nine wow just a little bit of room High for like scores today I kind of wish there was like some rice in there Ooh, I love rice on a burrito I feel like it needed like a little bit more of a carb to balance it out but it was good this thing dribbled all over me it dribbled all right Jackson one last question for you before we get out of here your Chicago restaurant last meal the restaurant you'd get your last meal from in Chicago Pat's Pizza Ooh, Ooh, we still haven't done pats for the show. Like that's, that's tavern one, style, that, right? Yeah. That, that's one place we still need to do pretty yeah. badly. And um, have you done Vito and Nick's yet? No. Ooh, down on the south side. Have your socks blown off, dude. <laughs> your socks? See ya. They're gonna be go, blown dude. off. You better go buy yourself a 12 pack off of Amazon. <laughs> You're gonna need some new ones, big yeah. boy. Uh, Pat's Pizza, that's right. People also watching, if you've had Pat's, uh, is that Everyone's a good answer? told us. Yeah, they've said it's great. Get that. They say it's great. One of the best taverns, if not the best, a lot of people say. Where can people see you? Obviously, the podcast, all Jackson's links, uh, his social handles are all linked below. If you wanna go say hi to him. But uh, what should people be on the lookout for you of what you're doing now? Uh, just keep on uh, checking the feed for new podcasts and new guests and I. Uh, Corey is going to be coming up soon on a podcast. Yeah. So make sure to stay tuned for that. Jackson, thanks for doing the show. Of course. Appreciate it. Thanks for being in our sweaty car with us. Yeah. On a hot. Anytime I can get sweaty and eat a big old uh, <laughs> sticky sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> you only violated like four of the number six of cheese rules. And then normally only the guests I really love do I spill pop all over. Oh, so I'm glad. Stop it. What are you looking at? They look covered. Those are designed to look covered. They do. Have they you look, seen his looks, shorts? It looks like someone oh, all of them. Does not Wait, look covered. Like, did you buy them like that? No, I came on them. <laughs> Wash Is that it the off. design? Or did I pull, you paint? The, pull my penis out of the top of my shorts and I kind of dribble it all over and I leave it. But you gotta like bend it in half that so really, it's not like correct aim. You could tell that really struck me when I looked <laughs> look over. Look how Yeah, you was like, ugh. What the hell? Yes, got, like, oh, it looks street. even worse on camera. Let's do cover. That's I really hope Jackson's family's not watching this episode. I hope the they are. End of it is just, are they going to be cool with cum covered short content? <laughs> yes. All right, sweet. sweet. Just making sure. All right, go follow Jackson. Go say hi to him. Um, that's another number six with cheese review. El Habanero, you continue to. What? I just, you know, the, I've been doing a new phrase. Yeah, I, might have, I think I first time I ever said it was with you. What is it? Getting all j uh, jazzed up. Like oh, instead, yeah. Instead of saying jazzed up about yeah, stuff, I'm, all I'm substituting in jazzed Did up. Did you just think of that randomly, though? Well, like, we were talking about something about oh, okay. I, I thought it was something was like, in my oh, yeah. stupid outro so that I, you were... I keep saying it to Kylie now, like, oh, dude, I'm so jazzed up to go see that movie, dude. She's like, stop saying that. <laughs> and you're only going to do it harder because she's saying to stop. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. of course. It's like bully mentality. <laughs> my wife. I have, I have to do all my bits on my wife. <laughs> All right, if you guys are all d up from this content, please subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you tomorrow for a brand new video. Thanks for being here. Jackson, we love you. I love you Get guys. Get the AC here. going. Overall, great job. <laughs> well, That's I broke a lot of rules. <laughs> you broke a few rules, but it was great. Oh, dude, you got the social handles on the back, too. Who had that? No Pinterest? No, no, <laughs> no. We're, no. We're not, not pinning yet. stuff on don't, a daily basis. Don't, don't answer that seriously. I don't want to leave the viewers hanging on Pinterest. <laughs> no Pinterest, dude? <laughs>